We're gonna take a look at everything that's in my front bag. Okay, so first off, I've got in the inside flap here, your basic crack maintenance, uh, restroom business. On this side, I've got the essential battery stuff. This is for my uh, telephone and uh, GPS. The wire connects to a battery here. This is a plug wrench, a couple of tools that I got uh, from the manufacturer. And some more crack maintenance here. A little fold out shovel. In case I need to do anything in the dark. Here's a uh, air pump, which is powered by this battery. So this is a great little battery. It's a, um, I think it's a 10 amp hour uh, jump start battery, but I just have it to power the pump. There's a 12 volt attachment there. And um, I do need to air up the tires. I'm only running about three and a half pounds in the bear claws. So uh, we'll take care of that while this is out. <clears throat> Here's the battery box that I built. This is a 20 amp hour battery. Inside is a lithium iron phosphate battery 20 amp hour and um, I built this box with its uh, USB ports and stuff like that to power the ham radio and uh, charge different devices so that's one side here I think what we'll do too is we'll uh, we'll weigh this whole box uh, let's see, uh, it's a first aid kit, your basic boo-boo stuff. Um, I also have a bunch of stuff Fred gave me in the front compartment there. We'll take a look at that, but this is your basic boo-boo kit. Uh, Band-aids, gauze, wraps, there's a tourniquet in here. And um, luckily never had to use it yet. Uh, some triangle bandages. Scissors. Flashlight is good to have in case it's dark out. <clears throat> this is my uh, first aid kit with my blood type on there. And uh, let's see, I got a spare battery here for the uh, DeWalt chainsaw. This is a six amp hour. <clears throat> Here's some cinch straps. We call them Robert straps because that's where we got them from. Some Robert straps, spare oil, um, duct tape, gorilla tape, and uh, emergency uh, emergency kit here. Basically, fire starting and navigation. So, inside here is a this uh, multi tool bic lighter. Ferro rod, uh, some channel locks, and a little flashlight there. Uh, basically, in case uh, I need to build the fire, there's also uh, a 
Sickle Sharpening Stone. You know, in case it is an emergency, I need to sharpen my knife. All right, just put that aside and we'll pack that all away. So in these two bags here, what I've got is uh, uh, tire repair stuff, uh, low pressure tire gauge, some tire tampons, sidewall repair kit, some lube. Everybody needs some lube. Here's another low pressure air gauge. And then the uh, ARB tire repair kit, basically. So I keep that in here. Everything in the front. Pretty much all tools and uh, essentials. I don't really go in the front bag a lot on the trail. Um, here's a wrench. In case I need to remove a wheel. And then here is just some random tools, uh, spare uh, spark plugs, and different stuff, uh, razor blade, another multi-tool. I have to go through this kit and, you know, try to cut down the weight. Uh, but I think anything that I need will be in here. Hose clamps, uh, needle nose, and uh, spare fuses. And a hatchet, in case I want to play lumberjack and split some firewood. And of course, zip ties. This Corbin bag, this is a great bag, and you know, I had pretty much built this kit specifically because I love this bag. Uh, it's a soft bag, it's semi rigid, but absolutely no dust gets in here. Love it. Okay, let's, uh, let's put this air pump to use. Three pounds, so I'm going to equate that to five, and I'll spare you the noise because it is quite loud. And it's five pounds. Okay. That's that. Gulu. <laughs> Gulu. Uh, let's weigh it now. Let me put the stuff back in. We'll weigh it. Uh, this battery is not light. to make room for the chain oil, chain lube. This 
slip the chain lube in there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, let's weigh this puppy. Pounds first. And kilos. For our Canadian buddies. Uh, that is Papa Wheelie safety. How do you attach this to a Honda rack, you asked? Well, the Colpin bags have D rings. These heavy duty. Uh, cable wrap, Velcro cable wrap deals. And I go around, make it as tight as I can. I flip this thing a few times. And the bags were the only things that didn't get hurt. I usually giggle when I crash. Except the last time when I was unconscious. I use Rhino brand tie downs when I load the quad on the trailer and they come with pretty good velcro strap deals so I just go around all four D rings and cinch it down there's actually Two in the front, two in the back, and one on each side, D-rings, and um, I only strap it down on four, but I'll do that later. Yeah. 